from a practical level, you mentioned that we should observe how people behave around others, how they interact, their emotions, et cetera, and compare that to how they behave towards you. Is there frustration, micro expressions, anger, contempt, and then ask what reason there could be for this. So there's a lot of practicals in dealing with all right, if I'm looking at how other people are acting, are they acting the same way around me? Uh, is it, are we looking for, are we looking for hidden, I'm, I'm trying not to be sort of hyperbolic here, are we looking for hidden enemies here? Are we looking for um, people to show their true colors because we know they'll have a facade up when they're talking to us, but maybe not with others? Well, that could possibly, but that's not really the point of this here. The point is to have access to information about what's really going on behind the, the facade, the mask people are wearing. And that might be totally benign. Mm -hmm. It might be that they do like you. It might be that they're not as interested in you as you think they are. But that doesn't mean they're going to go out and harm you in some way. It just means you think they're excited by your idea, but they're not really so excited. So we all have this experience where in the presence of one person, like our wife or a colleague or husband, we act a certain way. And then we're in the presence of someone else. We act totally differently, right? Because they have a different energy. So the way we talk and move and our body language in front of our boss is not the same as it is when we're talking with our child, with a two-year-old, et cetera, or with a younger, an older person like that. So we're continually changing who we are when we're in the presence of different people, right? So when you go up to someone, they're responding to your energy, right? And there's some of it's coming from you and you can't really disentangle what is you and what is actually coming from them. But if you observe them with another person, right? You get better information, you get more dispassionate information. So you judge them with you they're very, they're this way and that way, et cetera. But with this other person, they act totally differently, which is the real self. Well, you don't really know, but at least now you realize that what they were responding to you is only like a quarter of the picture, right? So you want to see how people interact in situations, in a variety of situations. It'll give you more clues as to what's really going on in their heads.